Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the Microtech California Legal UTX-70. Very cool little out the front, very tiny. Let's start out with a comparison to a tactical, tactical clothespin. Say that three times fast. Tactical clothespin right there. And that handle is almost the same size as the clothespin. Very cool little blade here. And uh, legal in California, according to, uh, well, the blade length is. I'm not sure uh, what their automatic laws are. You might still run into trouble there, but uh, very tiny little blade. Essentially, they've taken the handle of a regular UTX-70 and thrown a shorter blade on it. But very cool. I saw this one on the website this morning, and I said, oh, I better throw that one up before they're gone. I think we have 12 in stock, so if you're interested and you're watching this video shortly after it comes out, what is this, end of February 2013? You might want to snag one now. Very cool little blade here. We'll go over the specs on it, compare it to this uh, regular sized Ultratech. You can see that the uh, UTX-70, the overall length of it, on it is five and a quarter inches. Blade length, 1.9 inches, made from S35 VN steel. And uh, it's got the tri-wing screws on it. And we do sell a tool for that kind of a pain but uh, that's one of the things you get from Microtech and uh, it is smaller the the screws on the uh, UTX 70 are smaller than the Ultratech so there's a quick size comparison kind of get a, a view of both of those just a very tiny knife this is a novelty item folks 239 bucks for a knife like this uh, kind of I guess you could call it preposterous but uh, it's cool it's a novelty item and it's a lot of fun. So if you have got that kind of cash to throw around, do it. Why not? Right? Check this out. Pocket clip on it. Give you a shot of that in my pocket so you can see. Other things you want to know, it only weighs 1.1 ounces. So super light. It's got this little lanyard hole on it. You're, you could uh, tie that around your neck. Do whatever you want with it. Very cool little piece. I'm, I'm stoked on it. Anodized black aluminum handle. Fire snappy. Very cool. Comes with a nylon sheath. Observe. So you can wear that on your belt if you want. It's nice to see that on one of Microtech's knives. They've kind of moved into the... Uh, let me show you this one with uh, from the Ultratech. I don't... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, comes with this. I, I like to call it a, a Speedo case from Myco, Microtech. But... Uh, Kind of because it's spandexy, that sort of thing. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We'll continue on with this. Let me just hit you up with some quick specs. Uh, got my calipers out. And the thickness of the handle is 0.3 inches. Thickness of the blade on the back side, 0 0.081. And the front side right near the blade, 0 0.03 inches. So very cool little blade. I just wanted to give you an overview. Sometimes I see things on the shelf and I think to myself, man, I, I'd like to take a look at that. And I figure if I want to see it, you guys probably want to see it as well. So I'm trying to throw this up on our second channel, the Knives HQ channel on YouTube, and just give you guys a, a cool look at it. This one made in January 9, uh, 2013. It's currently February 2013. So this one was hot off the press. Hot off the machines, the CNC machiners and stuff. Machiners, I'm not sure if that is a word, but uh, I think we communicated, you and I. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I get a kick out of these. Uh, I have a lot of fun, and uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy checking out the blades and showing them to you guys and, and uh, just having a look-see at them. One last thing before I take off on this one. The blade grind angle is right at about 15 degrees. So, but you can change that. That is customizable, however you want. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to buy this blade at bladehq.com. That's the place to buy all your knives. Buy it now.